I'm uh, just outside London today and uh, I'm visiting Ken Boak and he's got a Lister engine which he has converted so he can run it on vegetable oil and with, with this Lister engine he heats up his house and he gets electricity from it we're now going to visit him in the engine room in his shed Hello, Ken. Oh, hi, Johan. What I'm are you just, doing? Just getting the old lady ready to run again. Um, it's a 1951 Lister, which uh, I salvaged from a, a farm in Somerset. And in the last two years, I've been setting it up so it makes all my own electricity and also the heating for the house. And now that we're into November, it's nice to have a bit of free heat and it's all powered on renewable fuels, on vegetable oil. Where do you get the vegetable oil? It, uh, it comes from a local pub about a mile away. Okay, so and it's I, like leftovers from indeed, yeah, I, food I, cooking. I collect it every, uh, every week or two. Yeah. So right, I think we're all set to run. So uh, let's, let's give it a whirl as they say. If you listen carefully, you can hear the injector creak. Yeah. There it goes. Right, okay. happening in here. Here we are in the uh, mechanical workshop with the engine next door and uh, here I have my battery bank which is uh, 108 volts and about 160 ampere hour and that runs a pair of large inverters in that cabinet there. They are two and a half kilowatts each and they then power four circuits which go back to the house and they power the washing machine, the dishwasher, my office and also uh, the battery charger. And then uh, we've just recently installed a new meter on the alternator so we can see exactly how much the engine's making. Running across the ceiling we have the hot water pipes that come from the engine and then they go across and they're buried in a trench and they go back to the house which is about 10 meters away and they're buried about uh, 30 centimeters below ground and um, insulated so we only lose about one degree centigrade temperature on the way back to the house and this will show us up to a whole day's worth of temperature. This is where we started the engine yesterday morning and we got up to a maximum temperature of almost 60 Celsius and then at 6 o'clock in the evening we turned off the engine and it cools down slowly and then you might just be able to see here we're now starting to rise, you'll see the temperature just creeping up here So with this I'm able to monitor the temperature of the water that we use to heat the living room and the kitchen and the bathroom. And here's the exhaust pipe. Um, we have a long length of water pipe as the silencer and so it comes out very quiet. And, uh, you can't beat the unmis unmistakable smell of um, vegetable oil. In fact, 
That's making me feel quite hungry. <laughs> yeah, me too. It must be time for lunch.